Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Taisha with Organized Plans. I want to start by thanking all of my returning subscribers for spending some time with me today. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you. In today's video, I am going to be sharing my updated planner lineup uh, beginning July, 2023. I'll be walking through all the planners that I'll be using from um, July through the end of the year and what's working for me, what's not working for me, and just all of the things. So if you'd like to join me as I walk through my updated planner lineup and just explain, you know, all of that and share some of the new planners I'll be using, then just keep on watching and let's get started. Okay, so there is a big stack <laughs> of planners in front of me, and I haven't counted how many I'm working with, but it's a little bit difficult to count because some things I'm swapping out, some things I'm swapping in. So maybe I'll do a final count um, by the time I get through um, to the end of this video. But um, I'm just gonna start maybe by just moving everything off to the side and walking through um, my updated lineup and just explaining um, bit by bit everything and you know, we'll just go from there. So this first planner I am using, I think this was the LaFleur um, planner. It is a 12 month planner. Um, it has been working so, so well for me. This is my um, classic catch-all planner. It is a vertical planner. Um, I do have up in the front my current um, summer bucket list, but I've been using this since January, and I probably will do a flip through of this um, kind of like the half year mark after the pin, just flipping through um, all of the weeks and monthly spreads and everything. But I love this planner so much. Um, mainly, uh, you know, I love the uh, um, dashboards and it's very neutral and everything so nothing is changing with this planner I'm keeping the cover um, it did come with light pink plastic discs but I switched them out to these kind of blush pink metal discs at the beginning of the year when I first did my setup um, and so I'm keeping the disc I'm keeping the planner um, I do have just this one here um, and this is just storing the rest of my pages so in in essence I will move out January through the end of June and again I will do an after the pin video sharing um, you know all of my spreads for the first half of the year and um, and then I'll do a setup video bringing in all of the remaining um, six months of you know July through December so looking forward to keeping um, this planner in my lineup and uh, loving that so much so that's the first one um, now, one of the things that um, I am going to be doing is condensing um, this planner, which is a horizontal planner, um, which the monthly spread I was using to write out my gratitude, one thing I'm grateful for every day, and then the weekly pages I was doing um, using those for like journaling and faith um, journaling and Bible scripture. And I just have kind of fallen off um, <laughs> of that. I have stayed consistent with the um, monthly um, spreads, decorating them and writing one thing I'm grateful for every day. So I'm thinking what I will do is just bring that into my classic catch-all planner 
and um, and just have create a box on each day where I can write in something um, throughout that week and um, just kind of merge that into my classic catch-all planner. Um, so that's um, what I'm going to do. I still love this planner so much, um, but as I just said, I I'm kind of have fallen off. I haven't been using it, and um, and so I think I'm just going to kind of give it a rest, a break, and then if I get kind of re-energized um, with journaling and so forth, I will still have the rest of this year that I can use. This was originally an 18-month planner, um, and so um, I'll consider it down the road, but right now that's what I'm going to do is just kind of merge in the monthly um, gratitude uh, into my catch-all from a weekly standpoint. Now, um, these green metal discs are everything. <laughs> I love them so much and I could not let them go to waste um, sitting on a planner that is not being used. So I will um, be bringing these green metal discs um, onto this new planner. And as you can see, the green is just gonna match so perfectly. Um, so this one is going to be my new social media planner. This is um, a 18 month planner. It is a dashboard layout. It starts in July. This was part of, um, I already have some pre-planning done in, in there, but it starts in July. And, um, and this was part of the uh, spring release, spring 2023 release. So I know this one is still available on the Happy Planners website and, and you may find it in some stores like Joanne or um, Hobby Lobby. You just have to check and see where this planner is available. I love this planner so, so much. Um, it is, I, one thing that's a little bit different is it is already decorated um, and it kind of alternates between this pattern and um, this pattern every other month. So um, I figured, you know, it will be less decorating that I will do in this planner, really just keeping it um, pen to paper. But you all know how much I love my florals and this planner is just Full of florals so I love it so much and so what I'm going to be doing is um, a few different things one is I was using a mini dashboard planner um, every week for my social media planning so I'm now going to upgrade to the larger size for um, for the in the classic dashboard and one of the other things I was doing for social media planning was um, setting up kind of monthly pages. Let's see if I can go to that section and show you. Um, yeah, it's in essence, this planner here, this um, kind of stargazer type of planner, which I've been using and this is what July would look like, um, and I was using um, not really the monthly page here, but this layout to do social media goal setting. So I would put kind of my top three goals, different tasks throughout the month, kind of a motivational quote. Here's where I would track different um, habits like responding to comments. Um, here is where I would put in budgeting information. So like how much, you know, I budgeted or spending on new um, releases and planner supplies and sticker books is where I would use this open space for. And then here's where I would track um, releases for throughout the month from like small sticker shops or from the Happy Planner. I would usually kind of cover this section up with a quote. Um, and then these sections, I would write out um, for each day the sticker books that I was using for that plan with me. So when I go to create um, my 
YouTube video description box, I would know which sticker books to reference or um, for my Instagram posts and all of that. So I am going to kind of consolidate instead of having the mini dashboard and then plus this for like goal setting and then the tracking of the sticker books and so forth, I am going to take this one out of my lineup and as I said, kind of consolidate all of that into this one planner. So I think it will work out well where up here I can put again my top three goals for the month, any important task, or I can notate here like my um, subscriber, like growth count and everything. I could use that box for that as well. And this section is where I will track like budgeting information. Again, um, you know, kind of the different items um, that I'm purchasing throughout the month. I will use um, this page for writing out my um, upcoming videos like my video schedule and so forth so I do like my classic plan with me is those posts on Sunday my minis on Tuesday so on and so forth so I will lay that out on this monthly page and then on the weekly pages on this side I'm going to use this space to write in um, my um, sticker books that I'm using for that video posting. This again will be my YouTube schedule. This will be some of my filming tasks and so forth. Here is where I probably will write out my Instagram post. Um, you know, throughout the week, I'll just kind of put um, some bullet points. This is where I probably will write um, in kind of my um, channel growth and everything from week over over week and then down here is where I can put like a motivational quote and something like that so uh, and then that's how it will look every week um, so I'm excited about you know having a little bit more space but consolidating a couple different planners together and as I said I love love this planner so so much it's gonna look gorgeous <laughs> with those green metal discs so definitely stay tuned um, I'm gonna have videos for all of this um, doing the individual um, setup videos and everything so definitely <coughs> stay tuned as I um, share all of that um, so the next one that I am going to bring in is um, this planner here and this is what I'm actually going to be using for a business planner. Um, I actually have an Etsy shop. I never really shared that here on my channel, um, but I do have a small business um, where I make different like budgeting and cash envelope um, type of, you know, items and I sell them on Etsy. And so I want to grow, you know, my Etsy shop further and I want to start bringing you all some different budgeting content um, and so forth. So that's what I'm going to use this planner for. It is super professional, super neutral, um, and has kind of a similar layout to the planner that we just looked at. Um, but kind of the color way in this planner is like black and creams and grays and gold. It's just, as I said, very professional. Um, and I love this for like a business planner. So here's where I could put in like priorities and just, you know, same kind of layout, um, budgeting for like different supplies that I'm using for my business expenses, other important items. Here's where I might note um, different releases or just other things I have going on. Um, and then for the weekly pages, what will be really nice with this planner is it is the checklist layout. So what I'm planning on doing here is maybe in this first row, I'll denote like social media um, posts. So like plan with me as budgeting videos, things like that. And this middle section is where I will write in, you know, like different orders, um, 
that I have to fulfill each day. And in the bottom section might just be other miscellaneous items um, for my business. So that's how I'm planning on using this planner. Um, this is also an 18 month planner. It did come out as part of the spring 2023 release. So I know this one is still available as well. And as I said, it's just super neutral, professional, gorgeous. I love this one so much. I'm looking forward to bringing you all some of that content and sharing more. Um, so for this one, it probably will not be a ton of setup. I think maybe put a cover on it. Um, these are plastic discs, so I probably will sw uh, swap these out for black metal discs, put in some bookmarks, things like that, a folder. So this will be a pretty easy um, setup and everything for me. Okay, so moving on. Um, the next planner I will have is my work planner. Um, <laughs> you know, my actual um, job <laughs> and working in every, uh, every day. Um, and so um, what I'll be using is this new um, Happy Planner. This also came out part of the spring release. It is a 12 month planner, but what's really like new and different is this Simply Layout. I do have a full flip through of this planner on my channel. And it looks like I just I've stuck a folder in here to kind of coordinate. Um, but you will see um, in July, um, this is kind of how the beginning of the month looks. Um, the dashboard, the monthly, it is a very neutral planner. But what is very unique is you have the dashboard layout on both um, sides of the page. And why that is or how that's different is before I was using this planner um, and you'll see it actually, I think this is the Teeny Florals um, planner. And this was also an 18th month planner. These planners actually are like coordinate so, so well together. Um, just so if you wanted to kind of merge a few different things together, you could. Um, but um, I will just flip through over to July. So this is what um, July of 2023 would look like. And this is kind of the old layout with the dashboard on the right hand side. And then you had these different sections, errands, get it done, noted, calls, emails, and focus. So you can see that in the new layout, you just have that same identical page on the left and the right. Um, so I am looking forward to using this layout um i will i'm sure you know we'll do a full work planner refresh and setup video like i do every month i enjoy those videos so so much this is kind of how my work planner looks um right now i have a video sharing this and this is like the cover i always change out my covers every month my discs um the outer cover i always insert some different um daily sheets and so forth so i will do all of that um as normal and we'll have a full video setting up this work planner i think for for this one because it is so thin I may keep the entire 12 months all on um, this one set of discs because these are on mini disc and I even once I add in like daily sheets and so forth I will still have plenty of room um, to put that on classic size discs so really looking forward to um, trying out this new layout for work and um, setting that up so definitely stay tuned for that video um, and then finally um, my mini. Um, <laughs> so I will, I have a few different things going on. So um, if you all recall, I recently brought back this um, skinny classic um, happy planner and I've been using this for fitness and wellness tracking um, habit tracking and because I'm no longer going to be using the mini dashboard I thought I would just bring um, still keep my mini pages and just combine that into my mini planner um, instead so I've been using this one all year um, and and have been using this to um, kind of plan out, let me see, 
uh, to plan out that looks like, yeah. So to plan out, um, you know, this part of it is a horizontal planner, which I love. Um, and so I'm going to keep that and keep using the horizontal planner. The rest of my horizontal planner pages are in um, this, I think it was like red, something red, 90s um, planner, mini planner. And so this will just pick up um, in July, July 23. 2023. So I will bring in um, my horizontal sheets um, or weekly pages and I will bring that in from July through um, the end of the year. And then for the dashboard planner, um, I, were, I was using the um, uh, Butterflies and Blooms, I think it's called. Uh, and so I'm going to keep using these. This is from July 2023 onward. And this is kind of the mini dashboard layout. So as I said, I'm going to um, no longer use the Skinny Classic. And I'm going to just decorate the mini dashboard for my health and wellness tracking. And I think that's going to work out well for me because I don't need a ton of space. Um, I like that I have the lines where I can do the um, tracking of like the my water, you know, my steps, Apple Ring. Um, closing my apple ring and then getting my sleep so I can put those things down in here every day and then maybe over here I'll just decorate it or um, I don't know <laughs> what I'll do on the left hand side just yet but I like that like I take this planner with me really on the go to work you know in my purse on the weekends so having the horizontal layout for on the go like errands and so forth and then having the fitness related stuff all in one planner i think is going to serve me well so i will kind of take these pages and bring it into this planner and that will be my horizontal and mini dashboard and that's what i'll use those um that planner for so I think that makes maybe five or six planners. <laughs> Sorry, was not counting, but that's where I think I'm going to, you know, end up and land and everything. So I'm excited um, for my new lineup and just all the planners that I'll be using. And as I said, it's it's a lot that um, has been working for me. Um, but there's also some new things that I want to try. And that's what it's all about. You know, it's so great that the Happy Planner has so many, you know, unique layouts. They're all very versatile and you can um, make it work for whatever purpose you have, you know, for it. So um, this is always a great time of year to kind of take stock. Think about what's working, what's not, and, you know, and then update your planner lineup accordingly. So I hope you um, like this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you're using, you know, for the rest of the year. Are you switching out any of your planners and how they're working for you? And, um, and again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye for friends.